as soon as you get a kill right here in this situation try to stick yourself back up against the wall you know hug the wall so to speak because it gives you two things it gives you a better perspective of what's around you and at the same time you also do have these little dumpsters here for cover which makes it harder for the enemies to go ahead and get a clear shot on you so now you're gonna get shot from behind by these two dudes who are just camping behind a barrel welcome back to everybody's favorite series on my channel where i basically just react to your gameplay and i give you guys some advices based on what i have seen we're gonna be reviewing a college football player's gameplay his name is parker McQuarrie, and he basically just hit me up and he wants me to give him some advice on how he can actually improve in call of duty so i figured you know what why not man i love sports i'm a fan of sports athletes are very motivated individuals they want to be the best at what they do so it'd be really interesting to see how this individual plays call of duty uh, let's take a look at his questionnaire here his current kd ratio is a 1.13 and he's been playing call of duty for about 17 hours which is just in game time so obviously him being a athlete he just doesn't have the time to play call of duty as much as the rest of us do and his reason for submission is he has a passion for video games as a whole he wants to become a streamer himself and hopefully he's going to be able to compete at the pro level if he really decides to dedicate his time to own his skills. Although he's new to the game, he gets easily frustrated when he's not being dominant. And this usually goes for every game. So I can totally understand, you know, where that comes from when you get frustrated, when you're trying to be the best at what you do. So let's go ahead and, you know, just take a look at his gameplay and see, you know, what kind of things we can analyze and hopefully help him improve. So by the way, guys, if you guys want me to review your gameplay, check the link down below in the description, fill that out accordingly. <laughs> Before we get into this gameplay review, the reason why I don't really do shipment reviews is because a lot of the factors when you play the map is just really random and the spawns are so messed up that you can find yourself in an endless cycle of just spawning and dying, spawning and dying. One thing I will try to outline in this gameplay is how to predict where the enemy movement is. So, so if you're trying to polish how you predict enemy movement, I do recommend playing on shipment because shipment is a really tiny map. You can tell based on where your teammates are. So I'm going to try and outline that as much as I possibly can throughout the gameplay. I'm not going to react to every single death because shipment is so chaotic. And my last and final advice, man, if you really like playing on shipment, then you better go get yourself some G fuel, man, and use code turbo at checkout to save you some. And then you'll be set and ready to go and dominate on shipment. Link in description, by the way. Okay. So I'm expecting this to be very fast paced. Like I said, I'm not going to analyze everything every single death that he has. I'm gonna focus more on his decision making and where his positioning is. Like I said, there's the spawns in shipment are just so random. All right, so he's just going straight down the middle. Honestly, I really would not do this. You don't wanna get shot from multiple areas at one time. You really wanna limit the amount of angles that you can get shot from. Yeah, let's see what he does here. So he's gonna pre-aim down his lines of sight and pre-aiming is more important than ever on these maps. All right, so he's checking his left before he proceeds, which is good. There's nothing here now. His teammates took care of it. Yeah, so I would definitely not go in the middle of the map. Like I said earlier, this is exactly what I was talking about. You're going to get team shot. And, you know, if you play too aggressive on shipment, because, like, think about it. If you play aggressive and the enemy team is playing aggressive, look at that, another situation where he was double teamed, but essentially. So, again, he's going to the middle of the map. All right, so there's one enemy and another enemy here. Looks like he got one of the kills. His other teammate got the other kill for him. Okay. All right. So let me just back this up really quick here. So when you're approaching corners, you guys hear me say this all the time. And like I said earlier, it's so important on shipment. So instead of just jumping around this corner here, because you know for a fact there's going to be enemies here. If you take a look at where his teammates are, there's teammates here, here, and here. So that must mean that the enemies are going to be in this portion of the map. So you kind of want to approach the situation a little bit more cautiously instead of aggressively jumping around the corner because there could be multiple enemies here at a time. So, you know, he's missing his shots. He's not really getting anything accomplished. He throws a C4 as a last minute effort to try and get a kill and he got shot. All right, so again, look at where your teammates are at. Most likely there's gonna be enemies in the middle or basically anywhere outside of this bubble where your teammates are at. So I'm not gonna pause and show the same thing over and over again. I don't wanna annoy you guys. I just want you guys to get the right idea of where I come from by looking at where your teammates are on the map and associating that with where teammates must be. So again, you have you know those very few instances where you do have an enemy behind you that's with your enemy team, with your teammates those things actually will happen you know it depends on the enemy's play style as well but it's very rare but it is possible 
All right, so enemies are most likely going to come in from that direction, so he's looking in the right direction. Now they have a UAV, which makes things a lot easier. I would not challenge that. I would just retreat. I like how he throws the C4. He's expecting enemies to come through, and he does get the C4 kill, which is nice. He's missing his shots here, so he's going to pre-aim down this line of sight because he's expecting the enemies to come through. He sees this guy coming up. Unfortunately, he had a riot shield, and he was deflecting all his bullets. Now, here's one small little detail that you need to keep in mind about shipment, all right? So if you take a look at his teammate, his teammate's going to go into this area right here. Just keep an eye on that. So now he's got to do a lot of multitasking. That's what shipment is all about, multitasking. I am personally fully invested when I play on shipment. You know, I, I rarely do, but if I do play on shipment, I'm going to be fully focused. I cannot talk to anybody. I need to just keep looking at the minimap and just adjusting my gameplay based on where my teammates are at. That's how shipment is best played. All right, so he has an enemy right there in front of him. Unfortunately, he pulls out his riot shield. Teammate died right behind him. All right, so in this situation, I think he was going to throw his C4, which is the right idea. But unfortunately, he got shot in the back. So as soon as you saw that your teammate got shot in the back, it might be a good idea to turn around and prioritize where your teammate got shot from because, you know, the guy in front of you, he's just holding a riot shield. So he's not going to shoot you right away. But it is possible to be able to do multiple things at a time, just depending on your skill level, you know, and how crafty you are on the sticks. You know, I'm sorry if that didn't really give you much of an answer, but that's why I said, you know, shipment is very hard to give advice on, especially if you're an average player or below average player. You know, it's a lot to grasp, but, you know, it's easy to learn how the spawns work for sure if you play on shipment. All right, so he's going down through the middle again. He decides to take a shortcut, I guess, which is okay in that situation. It just really depends. You know, every situation is different. Just because I say don't go down the middle doesn't mean you absolutely cannot at all costs. All right, so enemies are 100% going to be in this area. So I hope you guys are following along and you guys are starting to understand what I'm talking about when I talk about how to look at the minimap and, and, you know, justify where exactly the enemies are coming in from. So again, that's another perfect example of just being team shot when you're going down the middle. You know, a lot of people, they like to rush down the middle. And more often than not, you're going to be in situations where you're going to get shot in the back or shot in the front or team shot in general. All right, so I, I think right there, the PS4 gameplay just kind of skipped itself in the midst of recording. I'm not sure what happened there, but that was a nice kill. One thing I do like about his playstyle so far is the fact that he knows how to slide cancel around corners. He knows how to jump shot, etc. He has the right idea, so he's almost there. But I would also say just play a little bit more passive aggressive. So there's a VTOL up in the sky right now. You just got to get cover as fast as you possibly can. There's also a kill streak on the ground. It's just taking people out, that little tank. And again, he did it again. He did it again where he jumped around that corner too aggressively. Watch this. Jumped too aggressively. And now you're faced up against an opponent who's likely trying to get his leaning kills or mounted kills. And he's already aimed in. He's just waiting for you right now. So the best play style also on shipment is to play... A little bit more reserved you know you can play passive aggressive passive aggressive is like playing aggressive but noticing the moments where you need to play passive play a little bit slower basically because here let me try to explain this as much as i possibly can so in shipment you think about chaos right if a lot of people are just constantly rushing around the map and you're doing the exact opposite of playing more reserved you have the advantage because you're already expecting the opponents to come a certain way you're already aimed down sights and it's literally like shooting fish in a barrel at that point so everyone's moving around and you're just kind of waiting for enemies to appear so you might so you want to try and do that on all areas of the map just based on where your teammates are at if you're in the right spot at the right time you're going to get those kills I would avoid this. You know, if you look at the minimap, you know for a fact that you need to avoid this. So going this way was definitely not advisable. All right, so he does juke that. So an enemy just literally spawned in front of him. So that's a good kill. So they're going to be behind him right now. Another thing that I will say about shipment is that if you're here all alone, this is a pretty bad spot because... Let's say you get a kill right here. 100%, they're going to end up right behind you. So that's why it's very important to stick to the outskirts. So as soon as you get a kill right here in this situation, try to stick yourself back up against the wall, you know, hug the wall, so to speak, because it gives you two things. It gives you a better perspective of what's around you. And at the same time, you also do have these little dumpsters here for cover, which makes it harder for the enemies to go ahead and get a clear shot on you. So now you're going to get shot from behind by these two dudes who are just camping behind a barrel there. 
And I also did notice he has a UAV, which he has not activated yet. So try to use your kill streaks as quick as you possibly can. Shipment is a very fast paced game mode. The game will end before you know it and you didn't even have a chance to call on your UAV. All right, so lots of chaos happening here uh, in this. Yeah, so that's exactly what happens when you just go straight down the middle. You need to reset, get a kill, stick to the outskirts of the map and reset. So, uh, so it was nice that he got a kill here, but it would also be a better idea to get behind these barrels. You know, you can't see it on the minimap, but there's two barrels like right behind him. All right, now focus your direction into the middle of the map because that is where enemies are most likely going to be. And no one's really looking down that line of sight anyway. This dude, he's inside of the crate. Now you have one teammate here looking down this line of sight, so you don't need to worry about that. But also at the same time, you want to keep an eye on that minimap just to make sure that okay so he died already right there so you got to watch your back now you got two areas to look out for you also do have this predator missile coming for you by the way and there's nothing you can do about that situation all right so literally his whole team just spawned in one corner so the enemies could be anywhere now they could be here here coming through the middle or in this corner over here so this is basically like starting off in the beginning. I would definitely go over here. I would start my way on the outside to keep that buffer between myself and the enemy as far as possible so that it doesn't make it easier for them to double team me or get an easier kill on me because they're expecting me to come from this area. So if you go through the middle, all right, that was a good kill. So he's going through the right way right now. Teammate just died right in front of him. He's going to throw that C4 and hopes to get that kill. He knows the enemy's in hot pursuit right now. He plays ring around the rosy real quick. He gets a nice kill. So that's a good little example of outsmarting the enemy and yeah in that situation it was just a little too chaotic they had a they had a teammate over there to back him up and kill him oh that was a nice c4 toss by the way see what happens here so he's going down the middle once again yeah that's something i also do see him doing frequently is going down the middle of the map and often getting yourself double teamed so I like this. So, so what he's doing right now. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's, let's replay this once again. All right. So notice how he didn't go all the way out first. He went ahead and checked his area before he proceeded to see if there's enemies coming in from here, because for sure there's going to be enemies coming in from here. Cause like I said, we already associate where we need to be on the map based on where our teammates location is. So uh, I like what he does here. He's patient. This is exactly how you should play. It, it, you only play this way if and only if there's not really much going on there's not a lot of movement on this half of the map because you don't want to get double teamed again all right so i, I do believe he sees somebody there but i can't really tell because the resolution's uh, only 720p and i'm not sure what happened there uh, i'm guessing an enemy just spawned right in front of him so here he is again in the middle of the map uh, you know, being in this container is a good idea as well if you want to avoid dying to that kill streak. Now, he has a lot of options here what to do. So, he gets a good kill here. Go around to the side to the left. Yeah, it was too late. He got killed by that kill streak. Okay, uh, being in the middle here, not really a good idea. I don't advise it. He does get the kill nonetheless. I would personally go out at this corner, head glitch this barrel over here. There's a barrel over here. You can head glitch. Enemies are going to be spawning in from this area. That way, if you if you cover this area, there's less chances that enemies are going to be spawning in from this side because you have a teammate over there as well. So you have more control over the spawns by covering more ground. That's another key factor and benefit of controlling the spawns, especially on shipment. And and he still has not popped that UAV yet. All right, so his teammate just died. He's going to check it out. Yeah, the, the teammate, the enemy just had to jump on him in that gunfight. I mean, he had the right idea. He went behind the barrels and everything, but you know, you're not just going to win. You're, you're not going to, it's not a guarantee you're going to win every gunfight. So he got caught in a reload situation right there. Being deep in the enemy spawn and reloading your weapon is uh, obviously going to be bad luck. So, okay. So he gets the kill on this enemy. I would for sure make my way here to this end of the map because like i said earlier after you get a kill and you're here all alone enemies could be behind you they could be over here and they could also be in the middle your teammates are over here in this area so you're in no man's land right now so when you get a kill and you're all by yourself on shipment try to get to the outskirts of the map as fast as you can you do not want to be in the middle of the lane here it's just going to be a lot easier for the enemies to find you and shoot you so I would have gone right and I know there's an enemy over here to the right because I did hear some gunshots 
And he might get shot from behind here. There he is. He's right behind that dumpster. See, like, in that situation, he did get the kill, but if he hadn't had thrown his C4 and the enemy had more awareness, he would have been shot in the back. So now he's getting shot in the back again. And as you can see, the enemy spawned right behind him, and that's just, you know, that's what you get for playing on shipment. You know, it's just very, very chaotic. So he's being shot from the left here. He does a nice drop shot, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to take out the enemy, which is fine. All right, let's see what happens here. He throws a C4, gets a hit marker. He throws another one. Nothing. And th this is just the enemies just rushing into their spawn right now, just ganging up on them. Nothing you can do. Yeah, a lot of chaos just going down through the middle here. See, what also, also what happens is even if you do make it out of the middle alive, you're more than likely going to go against multiple enemies at a time. So he made it through the middle of the map, right? You got teammates going down uh, this side and this side. So that's good that he went through here. You're good. It's good that you're covering more ground. However, when you come up to this part right here, you want to pre-aim, you know, slowly, like what you were doing earlier in the gameplay, instead of just rushing out through this corner. Right there. See, like you've already exposed yourself. If these two guys were already pre-aiming, you would have been dead. So now he's caught in a situation where he couldn't finish this kill. He's trying to go over this guy, go for this guy now. And now he's being shot in the back because if you take a look at the minimap, there's no teammates here behind you. So that just leaves one thing, which is the enemies are most likely going to be behind you. And that is the result of that. You know, it's just not worth getting a kill, dying, getting a kill and dying, you know, trade killing. So that's a nice kill off the rip right there off the spawn. Still needs to call in that UAV. So be mindful of your kill streaks as well. So that's about it, man. I'll see you guys. He ended up with 35 kills, 30 deaths. I really hope that this helped in some way, shape, or form. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you want this series to continue. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos. And also, subscribe if you're new around here. Use code TURBO at checkout for G Fuel as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.